Recently, Kia surprised everyone by announcing the price of Kia EV9 in US at $54,900. However, once you look closely at it, it seems like it is a price for the smaller battery at 76.1 kilowatt hours, which I believe might not be a popular pick. In this video, I will deep dive into EV9 prices across all trims and its ranges. So grab your notepads because this video will be loaded with a lot of numbers. In my previous deep dive video of Kia EV9 linked above, I tried to speculate on the US prices, but with the recent unveiling of the light trim prices of the smaller battery, I've taken another shot to estimate the prices of light, wind, earth as well as GT Line for both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive versions. To estimate these prices accurately, I first turned my attention to EV6 prices in Korea, Belgium and USA. Using this strategy and using light version as a baseline, the wind trim cost around $2,500 extra, earth around $5,500 and GT Line depending on the country from $6,000 to $9,000. In case you're wondering about all wheel drive, it cost around $4,000 extra and to understand the difference of prices between smaller and larger battery, Kia roughly charges $158 per kilowatt hours of battery. Using this information available as well as the Kia EV9 prices from Korea, Belgium and Germany, I estimate the US prices to lie between $54,900 to $71,000. If we consider a version without smaller battery, my initial price estimates from my Kia EV9 video were off by about $2,000 to $5,000. Making this deep dive video of Kia EV9 after a couple of months, I've recognized something very interesting. The currency fluctuations and it must be a huge challenge for Kia. For example, if I compare the prices of July to October right now, there is at least a difference of $4,000. For range, I've compared both the WLDP and EPA estimates for EV6 and EV9 in Belgium, Germany and USA. While we have clear WLTP estimates for the rear wheel drive and GT line with the larger 99.8 kWh battery, I fill the gaps for other trims using the non-EPA US figures. Hence I anticipate the WLTP ranges to be around 402, 541, 502 and 465 km respectively with EPA estimates about 11 to 13 percent lower at 359, 483, 435 and 402 km respectively or 223, 300, 270 and 250 miles. For me it is very interesting to see that Kia has decided to launch the prices of a smaller battery in USA because it is not available anywhere in the world that is Korea, Belgium and Germany. But my question to you is, is it a feasible option for you, especially if you do not have a wall box at home? From my personal experience driving a Volkswagen ID.5 without a wall box at home, I generally require 5 to 6 charging sessions for every 1000 kilometers because not every time I have the time and capacity available to charge 30 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent. Hence a smaller battery will not suit my lifestyle. For the final part of the video, I've reserved some requests and suggestions for Kia as well as other automotive manufacturers to make the data transparent and easy to understand for the end consumers. While EV9 is a phenomenal car and I would love to own it one day, I've observed some inconsistencies in the range claims. For instance, the disparity between the WLTP and EPA estimates for the EV6 all-wheel drive and GT line is hard to overlook. Similarly, EV9 GT line trim was first announced in Belgium with 465 km WLTP range. But a month later when it was announced in Germany, they did not use the WLTP figures, instead they used 497 km. And hence my question, why there is a deviation between two different countries in Europe and why WLTP is not being used as a standard reference for all European countries. I completely understand the market pressure from other OEMs is huge and everyone is competing on very fine margins. If that wasn't the case, we probably wouldn't have ever seen the Dieselgate scandal. But as an end consumer, I would really appreciate and respect if OEMs come forward with transparent data. If you found this video valuable and helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Let me in the comments what are your thoughts if I have forgotten something. And even if you didn't like the video, please share your critique in the comments. I would really like to improve. Thank you so much and take care.